Hello, this is Mrs. Rose Eady, and today we're going to go over the parts of the digestive system. With the mouth. The mouth is located in the front of the, the front of the head, um, and this is where mechanical digestion goes on, where you're chewing up the food in smaller bits. Remember also some chemical digestion occurs here. The chemical digestion occurs because of your salivary glands. Now you have uh, four salivary glands. There's one of them, and here's another one. The other two would be located on the other side of the head. Okay, now food has to pass down through the pharynx, and we're just going to quickly color that in pink. Um, for my classes, you're not going to be tested on the pharynx on this test because you were tested on it during an earlier section. But you will have to know where the esophagus is. So this is the esophagus. It runs from the pharynx all the way down to the stomach. Now in this diagram you can't see the juncture of the stomach and the esophagus because the liver is covering it. So this area all in here is the esophagus. Below the esophagus is the stomach. I'm going to try and outline the stomach here as best I can. This area here is all the stomach. And obviously your stomach is used for digestion. Um, it does still does mechanical digestion, although it's the last place in your digestive system that does mechanical digestion. In addition, it does some chemical digestion. Connected to the s stomach is the small intestine. Um, I'm not going to trace the entire small intestine because I'm simply not that good with a mouse. But this whole area inside these yellow lines is your small intestines. They're covered with villi. That's where the food, the villi is where the food is absorbed and transferred to the bloodstream. Um, the process of digestion occurs because of two different uh, accessory uh, organs, which we'll talk about next. The first accessory organ, which I mentioned earlier, is the liver. Um, the liver is right here. Notice it's covering the juncture point where the stomach and the esophagus intersect. And this um, releases a whole host of chemicals, but the main one we talk about in our class is bile, a combination of lipids and salts that break down fats even further so that they can be digested by, or they can be absorbed by the villi. The other accessory organ is located right here. It's hard to see, um, but this is your pancreas. Um, your pancreas is actually shaped more is shaped more like this, and I'll just draw it over here. You got kind of a fat lobe to it, and then a long, skinny kind of point to it. That doesn't look very good. Uh, let me erase part of that. Whoop, I erased everything. Okay, well, I will recolor in your pancreas here. So that's the pancreas. Most of the pancreas is being hidden by the stomach. It comes pretty much all the way over here, but it's behind the stomach, so we can't see it. The last part we need to cover is the, the large intestine. The large intestine is on the outside of the small intestine, and it comes all the way around um, through here, and then down again, and up to there. So this outline section is the large intestine, and remember that the purpose of the large intestine is to give your body a chance to recover all the water that it has used in the digestive process. This is going to be the end of our discussion of the parts of the digestive system. I hope you found it helpful. Have a great day.